I'm here today with a bag review. It is my new camera bag that I got and I'm so excited about it because um, first of all I needed a new camera bag because my old camera bag was just like the plain regular generic camera bags that you just buy at the store, you buy at Best Buy or you get it for free whenever you buy a camera. So that's the one I had and I really wanted a new camera bag and I had been eyeing a lot of the, the Ona bags. I don't know if you guys have are familiar with those. They're like really cool suitcase looking leather um, camera bags. So anyway, so I really wanted one of those and you know after looking at their website I just couldn't afford it. They were like $400, $500 for like the bigger size ones. I was like, yeah, all right, I ain't gonna pay. 500 bucks for a bag. So um, I researched and researched and researched. I came across this um, bag company and after reading reviews, like people were saying that they took forever to ship their items out and that it was like bad quality and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, hmm, no, I'm not gonna get that one. So then I kept researching and researching and then I came across this uh, bag, this guy that makes bags and he makes them in India and um, he like hand makes them and they're leather so I saw them on Etsy so that's where I saw it and I really liked the bags but then I was like not sure about it because obviously it's not something that you could physically touch and then decide about it so you know you just have to pretty much just take a risk so um, I, of course, like always, I was reading reviews about this bag and seriously everyone that was leaving a review was saying that it was a really good bag, that it was good quality, that it came, um, it got there really quickly. Um, so I just went ahead and bought it because it was, um, it was pretty cheap. It was $145 um, online, but of course you have to pay a shipping price of $30, yeah, $30 extra to ship it to the US because it came all the way from India. So I was like, oh great. So I just did it because I was like, either way, that's pretty cheap. 170 it was like around 175 or whatever. So I thought it wasn't a really bad price. So I went ahead and bought it. And oh my gosh, I feel like I've blabbered so much. But here is the bag. It's pretty big. It's not a small bag at all. It's like a bag for all of your camera, well, not all of them, but pretty much all of your camera stuff. For me, it fits everything, so that's why I got it. It's this bag. It's so cool looking, like, it's so official, right? And um, yeah, it's pretty big. As you can see, it's wide as well. Um, very wide and then it has this strap and it has like this little padded thing on the strap and the guy the, the owner of the shop was really nice and um, he was very communicative and I told him if he could just add some extra holes on my strap to make it shorter if I would want to and he um, did that for me so that was really nice of him um, so yeah it's very sturdy bag I actually was very very impressed with this bag um, I didn't think it was going to be this sturdy and it's very very sturdy. This is how it opens but it's not actual buckles it's just like little clasps and you just press on it and then it opens. So that's the way that it opens and inside I put my old camera in here for um, display because obviously I'm using my nice camera right now to record this video so um, just to show you guys. It's very well padded in there. Um, I really like that. It's like really padded. And I actually took one of the dividers off. It had another one right here and I took that off so that my camera could fit in there with um, the battery grip. So I was really excited about that. It fits my lenses. You can even stack two on top of the other if you're really careful. Um, so I stick Two, I stick my 50 millimeter and then another just kind of like a kit lens in there and then in the back you can put either like a little folder I have this little folder in there or you can fit your computer I believe this is 13 inches it fits in there let me show you guys so I really like this because I wanted it to be not only my camera bag but also a kind of like a laptop bag so that's the reason why I got the bigger size. So there you go. You can see it fits 
it fits my laptop in there. Of course, after you put that in, it does get pretty heavy, but you just have to bear with it, bear with it, you know? And then over here it has this little pocket. And inside the pocket, there's like a zipper. And then you can just put little stuff in there. So yeah, and then right here you could put other stuff like in the side in between the divider and the actual bag. And yeah, it's very roomy. It's the perfect camera bag for those of you looking for a camera bag similar to the Ona bags. I would like definitely recommend this bag. Um, it's really, really, really good quality and it smells good too. Um, the guy on the website, he actually says something about how it has like a funny smell um, and then it goes away after time, but I actually like that funny smell. It's actually not even that funny to me, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how the bag looks like when it's on your shoulder and um, everything that is able to fit inside of the bag as well. enjoyed my video for my camera bag um, if you didn't know um, I am a photographer not professionally but I learned by myself and um, that's what I love to do and I do weddings um, I do engagements newborns um, maternity anything you want family photos anything so um, I'm gonna go ahead and also um, link down my blog down below I also did like a written review with um, pictures so if you guys would like to see that so I'll leave I'll leave my blog name down below once again thank you for watching my video and if you have any questions regarding uh, my bag please go ahead and ask them down below and I will answer them for you and hopefully I was able to help you guys out if you're looking for a new leather camera bag so um, thank you once again and have a good weekend. Bye.